guys welcome back to my channel my name is Soinye Chuku on today's tutorial I want to teach you cow neck have you heard about cow neck that one that comes like this drip 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 yeah. at times it's to show your breasts and for me I like covering it somehow so I want to show you how to draft it the simplest way you can ever imagine and I'm gonna use this apoche yes have you heard of that song? We did that song. Okay, we usually sing it whenever we see anybody wearing the apoche of 18. We sing it for her. That was back then when we were small. But now I like the apoche because it fits every figure. It is very fine. So after doing it, I'm going to wear it to show you how it fits. It's a very nice fabric. I like it. So. If you are all to my channel, I thank you for coming back always to see my video and I hope you always learn from me. If you are new to my channel, hmm, welcome, welcome to my channel. Tell your friends about me and please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Stay tuned to watch the rest. Yeah. This is my pattern paper for drafting my curves, my short ruler, my cotton, my marker. And my long ruler then my socks measurement tape so I have to start I have my measurements of hand length is four to six I'll use my soft tape to get my four to six I joined it because this one is short so I doubled it to get my four to six so this is my four to six and I add my folding allowance half for up and one and a half for down so 47 and a half so I'll come here and get my 46 and my seam allowance so I'm trying that's the lens the next thing I do is to get the armhole so I'll use eight and a half eight and a half for my sleeve lens I like using my eight and a half for sleeve lens so I mark my eight and a half then I mark the neck for Mark the neck four inches and I join for the neck for the neck. Then my shoulder is 14 divided by two, you get seven. Seven. Mark seven here. Mark seven here. Then join it. Then you now use the cord to do the armhole. Half length is my half length is 18. That's from shoulder to waist is 18. And I mark that is my waist. And from shoulder to hip. From my shoulder to hip is 28 and I mark okay then along the armhole line that's where I I'll mark my bust my bust is uh, 44 divided by 2 will give us 11 because the apple stretches I wouldn't add uh, any allowance. I will do the 11 on the dots. Then my waist is uh, 36. 36 is 9 divided by 4 is 9. I will equally mark 9 on the dots, no allowance. Then my hip is 48, which is 12, no allowance also. I'll mark everything on the dots. 
Then for the fact I want the, the down to be pencil like, I usually use whatever I use on the waist on the down. So since here is nine, I'll use nine here also. And it's on the dots, no any addition. Okay. So I'll join. That's for the allowance. It's time to do the heat. I am done. There shouldn't be any angular shape on your pattern. So, this is the full dress. I'll now draft the neck. My shoulder will be three. I like using three. So, I'll, this is four. I'll mark four here. Use my short shoulder. Join me. In my previous video, I taught you how to use this bed. I will use a free hand now to do it. Look at this gap. Look at this space. Divide it into two. And look at this space. Divide it into two. Then you join it in a curvy manner. This is where I graft my round neck with free pattern, free hand. And don't forget always to. Don't forget to always remove half inch slanting of the shoulder. That's the way I do it. Slanted. Now cut out the pattern and place it on my fabric. So I am done with the drafting. It's time to cut out now. As you can see, the difference in the back and the front is just the neck it has no darts it has no curve nothing is just the same thing so after cutting this out now i'll just draft the back neck on top of the front neck then cut it out use this pattern place it on my fabric and get the back okay so after getting the back i'll now cut the front neck and use it on the front you see i'm trying to manage my pattern paper so don't forget to slant the shoulder you can see my pattern is very beautiful now let me draft the back neck i am using two inches from shoulder line i'll mark two inches by four that is what i'm doing yes two inches I mark it and I join, curve it, I'm using freehand, so I curve it, use my cutter and cut it out, that's the back neck I'm doing on top of, you can still see the front neck, so after I'll cut it out and use it for the front pattern. If, if you look at my pattern, it is just one sided, that is half, half of the pattern that I did as in half of the back I assume this is the back but I folded my fabric you can see it I folded my fabric that is the center of the back so I place the fabric my pattern sorry I place my pattern place it very well remember no allowance so I'm not adding anything by the sides it's just to cut to cut
down the top this and use it for the front pattern by removing this. I'll now remove this the front leg. Yes, it's now my front. See the magic. So the next thing I do is to show you how to do the cow, how to do the slash and spread for the cow neck. I'll now draw three lines to show you how I'm going to do it. Let me use my controller. Slash and spread. I'll slash. One. Slash. Two. And I'll slash. Yes, this is a slash and spread. So I cut. See where I started? I just started from one cut. I just start from the edge. So after doing my slash and spread, I placed it again on, on another pattern paper. I will now trace it out. Trace it out. I will now trace it out. You can see the shoulder here. So I've placed the pattern. This is my slash and spread. I'm using my masking tape to hold them in place. So I will now fold here and use it to do the self-facing, but this is short, it's about 2 inches, so I will add more to it. When I place it on my fabric, I will now add extra for the self-facing. So this is the cow neck, stay tuned and see how it comes out. Folded my apple I will now place my pattern, remember it's folded. So it will give you the fronts, left and right. It's folded, don't forget that. Try and place it to align with my apple chain. I'm not adding anything because it stretches. No, no need of any allowance. But here, you remember I told you I have two inches here. But now I want to add it more so that I want to add like more. I want to make it like from here to here, like about um, yes, about nine inches so that it will go down up to the maybe middle ball so that it will show the back of the fabric. So I cut. I see that I'm folding in and wash it. And we remove my pattern paper. I no longer need it. This is my notched area. Push it in like this. You see? Hello, guys. This is the cow neck. I don't know if you're seeing it very well. This is the cow neck. How do I look? The cow neck, the cow neck, cow, 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 cow. And the apple tree. Please don't sing apple tree, the for me. <laughs> please don't sing it for me, please. I like the fabric because it fits. Look at how it fits. How do I look? Thanks for watching.